why do we have a happy birthday banner up in Mrs. Gregory's house? That is because today is a very special day. It is Salvador Dali's birthday. And who is Salvador Dali? Only Mrs. Gregory's favorite artist. I've got my special Dali shirt on. I'm ready to celebrate. And I'm ready to tell everybody about how awesome Dali is. So Dali is known for being a little bit eccentric, a little bit strange, but he's also known for being one of the best painters in the world. And I want to show you guys one example of his work that is something that I want us to focus on today, which is one point perspective. That's what we're going to be doing today, one point perspective. This is a painting of the crucifixion, and it's very, very lifelike, but that use of perspective that he um, has in this painting makes it so much more dramatic, and it feels very, very real. So, using perspective in your artwork is going to make anything that you draw look more realistic because it looks like it's sitting in a real place. Now, it's a little bit difficult, to achieve at first, but once you get it down, uh, you're really going to be surprised at how easy it is to remember and how easy it is to replicate. So what you're going to need is just a piece of paper and a pencil and a ruler. Very, very simple. Um, remember too that there are other ways of doing perspective. There's two point perspective, but we're just going to focus on the one point today. So what you're going to need to do is get your paper and we're going to have ours landscape style. Uh, we are going to be drawing a uh, cube with our perspective today. So um, you're going to have your paper landscape style. You are going to give it a horizon line. Now hopefully some of my older friends remember how we do this. Um, you can start by putting your ruler at zero on the edge of the paper and go wherever you want, any kind of measurement that you want. I'm going to do, I'm going to do five inches from zero to five, make a dot. Zero down to five, make a dot. Zero down to five, make a dot. We do this three times because we have three dots that are all the same distance from the edge of our paper. That gives us a nice straight line to trace. So that's going to be our horizon line. Now I'm just going to freehand the front facade of what would be a cube. And a cube is just a three-dimensional shape of a square. Now, somewhere along this horizon line, you need a vanishing point. And a vanishing point is where the lines off the side of the cube are going to be drawn to. Now, um, I said before that there was such a thing as two-point perspective, um, and that has two vanishing points. But one-point perspective just has one. So anywhere you want to put that vanishing point, just make a dot. Now, you are going to take your uh, pencil and you are going to draw a line from this corner to the vanishing point and this corner to the vanishing point. And you can erase this part because that part of the cube is going to be in front and you would not have it being behind the vanishing line. Um, or the vanishing, no, the horizon line, excuse me. So we have a little bit more of our cube drawn. Now we need to put the side of the cube and what you can do, you could use your ruler if you want, but I'm just going to freehand it. You can make another side of the cube right here. And again, this is going to be in front of the horizon line, so you don't need to have the horizon line shown. 
And from here on out, you can erase your lines, your diagonal lines, and you have a three-dimensional cube shape. Now you could shade it a little bit. Maybe the sunlight is coming in this way. So there's going to be shading right here. So that's one way that you can do um, one point perspective. But I'm going to show you another one. And this I'm going to do really, really quick. So we're going to pretend that I've got a nice parallel horizon line. And actually, I'm going to make it a little bit lower this time because there's so many ways that you can do this and show perspective. So instead of it being on the horizon line, my cube, this time I'm going to have it up here. And I'm going to put my vanishing point right here. So now... We have this, so we've connected each point to the vanishing point. Now, if you wanted to, you could do the fourth one. If you did it that way, that would show that the cube was transparent because you would be seeing all the lines of the cube. So now you can, once again, parallel a line right here. and parallel a line from this angle to meet this point. And then erase all those guidelines that you had before. So now in this example, you're seeing a little bit more of the cube because it's above the horizon line, it's not on it. Again, give you a little bit of shading. Cross hatching this time. Okay. So there we go. And you guys can do so many different shapes with this. Um, Rectangular prisms, triangles, hearts, stars. Stars are really neat because there's so many points to them that uh, it gets really interesting making all those lines. So um, I just wanted to say I hope that you guys have been enjoying these videos over the last few weeks. This is going to be my last one before the school year ends. And I know it's been crazy and I know it's been difficult. But I really just want you all to know that um, I care about you all and I miss you. And um, if you ever need anything, please let me know. Um, I want to be there for you to uh, do anything creative that you can put into your mind. So I want you to uh, just take care of each other. Uh, think about um, other people. Um, have empathy and have sympathy and have love in your heart and gratitude for what you do have. So uh, I hope I'll get to see you all in the fall. Take care. Keep on keeping on. Bye.